What's going on? Back plugged in the game. What you boy the profit? Hey, yo, man, we pop, we back plugged in again. I got lots more content for you guys coming, but I had to make sure I had to get back on track with this video. It's not the normal type of video that I do, you know, every day. And I sincerely apologize. I've just been super, super busy. And like my favorite character ever just came out in Genshin Impact. I actually am going to be doing a giveaway, trying to get some support on that video. There's going to be two $50 winners. So I'll link that video in the description. So comment on it, share the video for your two entries on that. And like I said, I'll share the video. I did some really, really nice edits. Like it's some really high tier content. So I really want a lot of people to see it. So if you guys wanted two chances to enter for $50, make sure you check the pinned comment down below. So let's go ahead and get into the actual video. I wanted to talk about who I think is the single handedly most overrated character probably in the history of bleach person like i can't think of a character that was ever more overrated and i'm going to show you the character we're going to talk about it we're going to break it down i'm going to show you guys gameplay examples we're going to get right into it and if this is your favorite character they're like i don't know what to tell you you know he's a popular character but at the end of the day man i'm going to go ahead and get right into it but first of all the pop and hope you guys do the content let's get it lit drop That's the wrong back plugged in again. All right, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put everything out here. Um, the character that we're gonna be talking about today is none other than Arena Biaki. And like I said, man, if this is your favorite character or if you just like Biaki, like I said, he's a very popular character. So of course, you know, a lot of people love him. I know a certain content creator that just loves this character, but I gotta go ahead and debunk this because this is like pretty egregious how overrated it is. and I mean I guess I'll say overhyped. I don't know what it is. Make sure you guys let me know how you feel about this character. Were you hype about him when he came out? And then now that you've actually played with him, you know, let me know how you feel. Are you satisfied with him? Do you just get nostalgia using him? Make sure you let me know. I do have some top 10s coming out very soon. Um, I'll be doing tier lists and top 10s kind of on a rotation. So if you guys are excited, make sure you show some support on this video. I'm going to go ahead and break down this character, all right? So as you guys see, he has a 20% strong attack damage link, right? 20 bruiser, but he doesn't have any berserker. That's the first major sign. There's only a few ways to get extra damage in this game with the current meta of having a status ailment means you're going to get 20% less berserker or bruiser, however you deal damage mainly. So this guy on top already doesn't have berserker. He has 20% strong attack damage. So that literally puts him right in line with any other character in the game with the status ailment. You take into the account that his second strong tag doesn't have lacerate on it. Oh, that it has an elongated cooldown, right? So let's just take those things and just kind of put them in a box. And we'll talk about them later. Um, looking at his skills, 20 bruiser, 40% damage size for the enemies is pretty huge. Um, he does have the skill that allows him to lacerate enemies um, a chance every five seconds. Uh, debilitated two seconds, devastation 40. So that means that soul bomb is going to hit for an additional. 40% on top of the devastation after the first hit because they will be lacerated. Frenzy and Havoc, which Havoc is very important. I think that's another reason why he's overhyped is because he has Havoc with all this stuff. People just assume he's going to be great. Poise, which is pretty good, better for Arena. Sprinter plus one, and he has recharge in his kit, right? So let's just take a look at his strong attack, shall we? This man not only has a range collision first strong attack, which there's like two types of range collision that are decent. The 40 mag and the 60 magnification are pretty decent. He has the 18% stinky winky magnification. This is the worst first strong attack 
in the entire game. If you think there is a strong attack worse than this 18% magnification range collision, you tell me in the comment section and you tell me why. Because if I miss something, I'll be sure to be corrected, you know? But this is the most garbage first strong attack in the game, all right? In actual practice, how this character stacks up to other characters with similar builds. Like, mind you, I understand that my Biakia is not max link slotted, but neither of these two characters who are link slotted are, you know, have on color link. So none of them get any additional stats. Like you guys see that all their gear is the exact same. It's the exact same. There's no difference, right? Badge, bait, pill. All three of them. There's no difference, right? All right, we're gonna do, make sure we do single soul ticket runs, okay? Now we're, we're, just, we're just gonna do this, right? And they all have sad SAR, so it's not like they have like shitty links. Like they all have good, you know, good stuff, right? So we're gonna go ahead and start this off. Use his first, he actually killed uh, two waves of enemies. That That's actually kind of surprising. This isn't, I mean, this first room isn't looking too bad. I, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. But, but here in lay the problem is aside from like the first room, you're forced to use this mediocre uh, first strong attack all the time. And with the range collision, you're constantly going to be cleaning up enemies that, you know, your strong attack should have already damaged and should have already hit. So, all right, I had to reset there just to kind of keep all the game plays uniform. I will bomb in this room because that makes sense according to cooldowns. We got an extra stage, so I'll make sure to just use the first strong attack. That actually benefited Biakia a lot because he got some extra cooldown on his third SA. So, kind of, uh, I mean, I guess it kind of is what it is, but, yeah. Boom, they should die after this. Perfect. All right. Yeah, so we did get, uh, we did get kind of, uh, you know, kind of a, a nice little buffer window. Drop the soul bomb here. Pretty good damage on the soul bomb. Um, keep in mind we did have an ally, so I'll just make sure that you know we have an ally for the other battles. But um, the soul bomb one shot, so that's pretty good. A minute and 14 seconds. Keep in mind that's not a bad time. Like that's not a bad time whatsoever. And to be honest, he performed better than I thought he would. Um, to be honest, he performed better than I thought he would. But as I said, it's not that the character is weak. He's just extremely overhyped. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. This Zangetsu has the same gear. Um, basically the exact same gear. Badge, bait, pill. Same as far as his you know, link slots. He doesn't have any link slots enabled right now. And um, this character doesn't have Havoc. Okay, So keep that in mind that this character doesn't have Havoc. Keep in mind that this Zangetsu is not only older, but doesn't have Havoc, right? Like, doesn't have Havoc or all the, you know, really good stuff that Biakia has. All right. And, like, I don't know for sure, but this already feels faster with Zangetsu. I mean, like I said, this is, this is kind of like in a, a live commentary form. So um, I really am not sure as far as what the clear times are or will be. I could be like totally eating my words by the end of this and you know, Biakia could have somehow managed to clear faster than Zangetsu, but I highly doubt it. Like, this is feeling like a Sugatansha. This is feeling like close to a 40 second run, maybe a little more, so we'll see. We'll see. 49 seconds, bro. 49 seconds. 20 whole seconds. 
faster than this Biaki is. 20 whole seconds. And that's only if that's straight by my memory. That's pretty ridiculous, bro. That's pretty stupid for this Biaki to come out with Havoc and with all this and with all that and got out cleared by a character with no Havoc. <laughs> You might be saying, oh, but D, it's, it's, it's because of Weekend. Well, like, Sinju Maru has Lacerate, just like that boy. But what does she have that, that Biaki doesn't? Is an actually usable for a strong attack? I don't know. She does share the same cooldown issues as Biakia. Sinjumaru does suffer from the same plight as Biakia as far as the time of the second strong attack. Alright, bet. That's kinda kinda held us back a bit as far as our time goes. But uh you wanna pop that beam as far as you can. And... Oh cool. That was pretty simple. That was pretty simple. I uh, thought there were more people, you know, alive than that, but I'm known for my quick work. Don't call me Sid a thousand arms for nothing. Moat mouth. All right, boss died again, instantly one shot, so cool. I guess they all, well, they all do have killer on them, so. Let's see, let's see how our third competitor fares. 54 seconds, bro. Five seconds less than Zangetsu. And the main reason for that is because of the second strong attack. Bro, this Biakia is, what, like, just, just think about what just happened, bro. Like, what were your expectations after seeing Biakia's clear time and then now seeing the other two? So, yeah. And, the, like, the Sinju Maru run could have been a lot better. The thing about Biakia is he's he has so much range collision it's almost impossible to get consistency with his runs. So keep that in mind, bro. Like, as a character, he's not bad. He doesn't, you know, he's not a horrible character. It's just that he was so overhyped, like, and it just doesn't make sense to, like, why this man doesn't have a berserker instead of having poise. Like, this man already has a barrier, so why is poise that important? All right? Like... Sinjumaru has a shield, and she came out a whole year earlier, more than a year earlier, and she outperforms this Biaki at literally everything that he does. So please tell me the use uh, of this character. I'm not, you know, it's not like, you know, Genshin Impact where you summon it for one character means you, you know, won't get another necessarily, but it's just like, I don't know, man, this character is a big disappointment, and a lot of people, you know, are super, super, you know, hyping this character up. Um, I was still hyped when I pulled him, of course. I got him from premium tickets if you guys didn't see that. But nonetheless, man, I just wanted to kind of get this video out. Um, I will not be link slotting this character for the rest of my eternity. He's just going to be a green blip on my account. So, hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. Make sure you guys tune in. Weigh in if you want to enter for the $50 giveaway. Make sure you take the pin comment. Till next time, Proper Nation. Do love y'all. I got tier list and top 10s coming soon. I'll make a win All them people done doubted me